Well, I just want to give you a real quick update on the Fe on the Phoenix Stream. It's my first song, first time in my life going to the studio project. Um, the original date I had said August 4th didn't happen. Uh, a lot of behind the scenes things uh, with, the, with my magazine, Surreal Vale City, that I took up that took up a lot of time. Things you know in my personal life that happened. A few things kind of glitched up in the personal life, but that's not going to stop me. Um, I tried to do a, I was then able to do this go, uh, do this Kickstarter the way I planned. I had another uh, crowdfunding project I tried to piece together, which didn't, which didn't work out too well. But there is a Facebook page which is evolving right as uh, every day right now or every other day, and things just, I'm really giving this thing 100, just like the my magazine, giving this 110 percent. I want to make sure I do it right and do it so that when it's released, I can say yes, and hopefully the goal will be achieved of making a difference in people's lives still. Um, it's like everything else. Sometimes in life, your best laid plans don't work out. But this will work out. Just, you know, for, you know learning as I go, just like, every, just like my magazine and everything else. But to everybody out there, thank you so much for the support, for the, uh, the times you share this. Yes, my arm does get tired. Um, just like my magazine, this is uncut, unscripted, unedited. I realize that some people may consider unprofessional, but just the way it, the way I am and the way I do things. But thank you so much to everybody out there for your support. You have no idea what it means to me. People talk all the time about going after your dreams. But like I said, this is 33 years. And I'm not going to let it go, and it will happen in 2018. At the very least, Phoenix Dreams will happen. Ideally, what I would like is at least have at least two of the, two of the three uh, recorded and released. You never know. But here's what here's another thing how, how about keeping expenses down that I would really, that I'm really trying to achieve. Uh, start starting with September 8th. I live in Lea Valley, Pennsylvania. The studio is down in Norristown, Pennsylvania. Um, the travel expenses. I'm looking at 36 bucks round trip, Uber busage uh, each time. Plus 1050 for SEPTA plus the studio fee of 75 for right now. It drops down after the music gets done. But still, um, the less trips I can make, the longer I can be in studio at one time. You know what? If I can take this thing out in two trips, I want to do it that way. Get the music done, make the make the next appointment, bam. Go walk in, hopefully in three or four four hours, have it say walk out and say, yes, that's it nailed it you know so the less trips that you know the less transportation the lower the transportation cost the lower the overall cost and if the goal is achieved and there is money left over that means money can be put to the next project or licensing fees or whatever whatever, whatever other fees etc that are going that go into it which i will learn as i go but again thank you so much for the support Maybe you can tell that looking at this.